Hello, everyone, and welcome to your 60-minute vinyasa practice. My name is Caitlin, and thank you so much for being here today. For practice, I will ask that you have two yoga blocks and a blanket to support the next 60 minutes that you've carved out to be here. I'll offer up supported Tadasana to begin, your first block low and wide to brace shoulder blades. Your second block is about six to eight inches further back to second setting that will support your skull. If you're familiar with this pose and you know you like a deeper back bend, option to take that first block to second setting, the further block up to third setting. Higher back bend, a little more lift in the heart, more room to breathe and develop your pranayama practice. You come to your seat, your blocks are behind you, then grab for your blanket, unfold it so you have some extra fabric to work with. Soles of feet come together, knees splay wide, bound angle. Take your blanket, fold it over your arches, and the excess blanket, tuck it around your shins and your outer calves. This is another way to support open hips. Once you have that ankle scarf, take your hands to the block or to the floor, start to recline. Please be very picky with where you land. Your shoulder blades are first point of contact, and the back of your head is next. If for any reason at all, starting class in a back bend, even though it's restorative, if it doesn't feel good, Simply remove the blocks and start class with a focus on bound angle. Often it can be helpful to sway the shoulders right and left, settle in to that height and expansive quality of the heart. And if there are any fidgets or adjustments that call to your attention, that might be glasses on your face, a wristwatch or piece of jewelry. If your phone is nearby, make sure that it's off. And that way, in real time, you are comfortable. You are content. Ultimately, giving your body permission to relax. Giving your body the signal that it is safe to relax. Bring your attention down to your hands. We'll layer on Yanana Mudra. Draw your index fingers and thumbs to touch. Softly extend your middle ring and pinky fingers. This is the seal of wisdom. It will support a gathered mind. It will encourage the free flow of prana or energy through the body for the next hour. And you allow your eyes to close to eradicate visual distraction. You begin to narrow your attention down to the breath. Far from easy, but very simple. When you breathe in, you know and you feel that you are breathing in. Just as special, just as important, when you breathe out, you know and you feel that you are breathing out. And this life-giving breath is your priority for the next hour of your day. And I assure you, the more connected you are to the breath, the more powerful and potent this healing practice becomes. The more powerful and potent this moving meditation becomes. To further develop your pranayama, let's cleanse and exhale. Nostrils to navel, take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale, soften belly to back. And without holding anything back from your human experience, take a deep breath into your belly, your ribs, and your heart. And open mouth, exhale, let the breath go. Closure of your mouth, ujjayi breath in through the nose. Ujjayi breath out through the nose. And we recruit this breath work in our active practice to support the physical body and the postures to come. It also serves as an auditory anchor for the busyness of your mind. It gives your attention somewhere safe to land, something very specific to focus on. 
However, it is worth a reminder, this breath, the constriction in your throat, it's warming, it's heating. So if at any point today you become overwhelmed or overheated, please cleanse your exhale just like you practiced or take rest. And from my heart to yours, please take rest long before you become exhausted or frustrated. To nourish this union between the head, the heart, and the body. It is at this time we acknowledge what is perhaps the most ancient intention of our practice. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be safe. May all beings know peace. May all beings find their freedom. May all beings move through the world with ease. To seal and share, take a deep breath in, feel your torso expand. Open mouth, exhale, release. Closure of your mouth, ujjayi breath in through the nose. Ujjayi breath out through your nose. And while there is no expectation, there certainly is hope. After these first few minutes in stillness, in stability and surrender, you feel a little more connected to yourself, a little more aware of your life-giving breath and all of the power it holds, a little more connected to the moment. Only if there's a readiness, you inspire change in your fingers. Wiggle them, spread them. Create movement in your feet, wiggle them free from that blanket. Constructive rest. Ingle your toes inward and knock your bent knees together at the midline of your body. Stretch your arms in a capital T, broad across your collarbones, or reach your arms over your head and grab a hold of opposite elbows. Breathe a little bit higher into your armpits or a little bit wider into your side ribs. Resist any race or rush. You have plenty of time. Release your arms heavy to the floor and roll to fetal pose on your right side. Your right bicep or one of those blocks supports the right side of your head. As you tuck your chin down into your chest, Jalandhara Bandha, chin lock, hug your knees a little bit higher into your heart. Breathe really big into your back body. Extend your top left leg long and press hands into the floor. Clear your mat space of those two blocks. Set them at the top corners of your mat. Grab for your blanket, fold it up, and you'll put that at the back edge of your mat. Let that support your neck and your head. Lie on your back, hug both knees into your chest. Apanasana, full wind relieving pose. Completely acknowledge that your back body is grounded and self-soothe and sway to the right and to the left. Let your feet come to the mat, toe heel them wide, and drop your knees to the right, gaze to the left. A mild release for the low back body. If there's room to do it, you lift your right heel, hook it outside of your left thigh, left knee. Sensation, potential tightness or discomfort, but nothing at any point is meant to be painful or harmful to your breathing.
Return your right foot back to your mat. Inhale, lift your knees and your gaze. On your exhale, drop your bent knees over to the left. Any amount, gaze to the right. And from your right shoulder to your right knee, breathe a little bit wider. You do not have to mirror or mimic, but if it's safe and appropriate, lift your left heel and hook it outside of your right thigh and right knee. With your attention narrow on the breath, slide your left foot back to the ground and lift your knees through center. Apanasana, hug both knees to chest. Pull them wide and take a happy baby pose. Hands to hamstrings, ankles, or the bottoms of your feet. As you take a bind with your hands, be sure that your lumbar spine and tailbone are anchored. A sense of heaviness and stability. If you enjoy it, sway right and left. When you sway to the right, see if you can tap your right knee to the floor. Same thing with the left. Tap your left knee to the floor. There's a playfulness and ease. Maybe you straighten one leg or both. And as you return to center, keep your happy baby pose legs. Interlace your fingers behind your head. Smash your low back into the floor and take a big breath in to prepare. Exhale, squeeze at the belly, lift up shoulders, neck, and head, nose up towards your ceiling. Inhale, lower down, you fully rest or hover. Exhale, squeeze at the belly and lift your head, but keep your elbows really wide. Inhale, lower down to rest. Exhale, squeeze at the belly and crunch, strong abdominal, soft neck. Inhale to lower down, mindful of your rhythmic breath. Exhale, squeeze the belly and lift, shoulders, neck, and head. Inhale to lower. Exhale, squeeze your abdominals and lift, but keep your happy baby pose legs. This time, hold at the top of that lift. If you're looking to explore, start to peel your low back and tailbone up off of the ground. If it's too intense or jarring, just anchor the low back. Elbows are wide. Chest is very broad as your belly is breathing for three. Re-energize the flex of your feet for two. Your low back pressed into the ground. Take a big inhale. Lift your head a little bit higher. Exhale to relax. Lower your shoulders, your neck, and your head. Return your feet to the floor and take a full body stretch as if you were just waking up for the first time today. Elongate your four limbs. And just feel the echo of what you've done. Perhaps a little bit of heat. Elevated heart rate. Hug your knees in towards your chest and start to rock and roll the length of your spine. Brainstem to tailbone, as long as that feels good. And tight cross at your ankles. Roll through to tabletop. Come to your hands and your knees. If you find it beneficial to your kneecaps, recruit your blanket so you have some extra padding or as an alternative double fold your mat. Spread your fingers, inhale, cow pose, open heart, lift your gaze. Exhale, cat back, dome out through your shoulder blades and puff up back ribs. Inhale, cow pose, check in with your jaw and your eyebrows. Exhale, cat spine, really over-exaggerate the tuck in the pelvis. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat back. You find your neutral table. Extend your right leg over to the right, heel in line with hip. Engage your abdominal, slight tuck in the pelvis. Stand on your left knee, sweep your arms high, look up. Exhale, gate pose to the right, right hand down, bow your left side. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, lengthen your arms up. Exhale, gate pose to the right. Roll your left shoulder back. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, ten fingers full of life. Exhale, gate pose to the right. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, feel the lift in your ribs. 
Exhale, tabletop, hands anchor, collect your right knee. Inhale, cow pose. You want to wash it away. Exhale, downward facing dog, lengthen spine. Take a few heel pedals, chest pulses. And you take a breath in. Exhale, tabletop. Kick your left foot over to the left, heel in line with hip. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Stand on right knee, arms up, gaze up. Exhale, gate pose to the left. Left hand down, C, curve your spine. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, chest and chin rise. Exhale, gate pose to the left. Strong drive in right knee. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, straight arms, hands alive. Exhale, gate pose, big sway to the left. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, lengthen and lift. Exhale, tabletop, hands down, left knee anchor. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. A relative heaviness in your heels. And if there's some tightness in the ankles, the calves or hamstrings, feel free to keep a bend in your knees. Maybe today you even take your feet as wide as your yoga mat, a way to modify, but be in your body in a different way. Inhale, high plank, shift forward, shoulders over wrists. Exhale, downward facing dog. Really patient. Inhale, high plank, articulate your spine, squeeze your belly to your back. Exhale, downward facing dog, high hips. Inhale, high plank, about four counts to get to the top of your push-up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, high plank pose. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, look forward to your hands. Exhale, travel forward and fold. Inhale, halfway lift, heart open. Hands to shins or maybe to thighs. Exhale, forward fold, a heaviness through your head and your shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift, limbs straight, collarbones broad. Exhale, forward fold, lengthen out your neck, head really heavy. Option to grab a hold of opposite elbows or interlace your fingers at the base of your skull. You interlace your fingers at your low back to expand your chest and wrap your frontal shoulders open. Keep your head heavy and jaw spacious. Fingertips come back down to your feet. Inhale, halfway up, spine is flat, big toes together. Exhale, forward fold, just an inch between your heels. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, arms high, chest and chin lift up. Exhale, Samastitihi, hands to your heart, stand at attention. Feel your whole body breathe in. Feel your whole body breathe out. Reliable, life-giving breath. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, sweep high, lift energy up. Exhale, forward fold, swan dive, or pass hands through heart. Inhale, halfway lift, fluid and free. Exhale, high plank. Spread your fingers, energize your hands, and step your feet back. Inhale, shift forward onto the tips of your toes. Exhale, pass through chaturanga. You can drop to your knees as you lower to your belly. Inhale, bhujangasana, cobra pose. Press through tops of feet as you lift heart and head. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, cobra pose. Relax your buttocks and your brows. Exhale, lower down. Breathe really deep. Inhale, cobra pose, belly, front ribs, chest. Exhale, downward facing dog, toes tuck, 
Press the ground away and lift your hips. Big breath in. Complete breath out. Inhale, look forward, lift your heels. Exhale, travel forward, walk or controlled hop. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins or thighs. Exhale, forward fold. Strong through both of your feet. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, feet down, hands high. Exhale, Samasthitihi, stand at attention. Your whole body breathes in. Your whole body breathes out. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, chest and chin up, palms might touch. Exhale, forward fold, soft knees for spinal support. Inhale, halfway lift, soft neck. Exhale, high plank, plant your hands and step your feet back. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog, big lift of the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog, high lift of the hips. It's your stable home base. Feel your hands, feel your feet as you breathe in. And you breathe out. Inhale, look forward, high heels. Exhale, Uttanasana, standing forward fold, travel. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Exhale, Uttanasana, standing forward bend. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, comfort in repetition. Exhale, Samasthitihi, hands to your heart. Whole body, breathe in. Whole body, breathe out. Plenty familiar. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, ribs, heart, and hands rise. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway up. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, your tricep push-up. Hug your elbows in, please. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha, upward facing. Exhale, Adho Mukha, downward facing. Feel the wonderful length of your spine as you breathe in and you breathe out. With your breath as your priority, inhale, look forward, lift your heels. Exhale, travel forward, walk or quiet hop. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your limbs. Exhale, fold, big toes together, keep that inch between your heels. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Sweep your arms high. Exhale, chair plane, front ribs to quads, arms stretch back. Inhale, chair pose, corset the front ribs, really compact. Exhale, chair plane, chest to knees, flirt with your depth. Inhale, chair pose, heaviness in your tailbone, mild tuck in the pelvis. Exhale, chair plane, fluid and free. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, arm sweep high. Exhale, back bend, goal post the arms or take hands to your head. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, all of that length. Exhale, Uttanasana, all of that depth. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. You can be on knees, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing, elevate your thighs. Exhale, downward facing, elevate your hips. Your whole body, breathe in. Whole body, breathe out. Inhale, down dog kick, right leg high, strong and straight. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Please take your time, hold and breathe. Dome out your shoulder blades, now twist across. Right knee to your left elbow, lift your right inner thigh. Strong and steady, big breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog, smooth step back. Inhale, left leg high, squeeze straight. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. It's a hold and breathe. A high right heel, strong hands. Now twist across, left knee to your right elbow. 
High left inner thigh, breathe it in. Exhale, downward facing dog, you step it back. A big inhalation down to your tailbone. And a complete exhalation, let the stale breath go. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, lizard lunge, right foot outside of right hand. Big step. Inhale, easy twist, right arm up to your ceiling. Exhale, horizon lunge, sink into outer left hip, right arm stretch back. Inhale, easy twist, right foot is flat. Exhale, horizon lunge, roll onto the pinky toe sides of both feet. Inhale, easy twist, right hand high. Exhale, horizon lunge, flare your bent right knee away from your chest. Inhale, easy twist, look up, offer your heart. Exhale, lizard lunge, right hand to the mat. Inhale, down dog kick, right leg high. Exhale, roll your right hip open, flop your right heel to your left butt cheek. Just notice the space across lower abdominals as you stack your hips. Front ribs corset together, compact and strong as you breathe in deeply to two anchored hands. Exhale, low lunge, right foot step between two hands. Inhale, warrior one, left heel plant, arms rise. Exhale, airplane your torso, right ribs, right thigh, arms sweep back. Inhale, warrior one, square hips, square shoulders forward. Exhale, airplane torso, bow and look at your right big toe. Inhale, warrior one, corset front ribs. Exhale, airplane torso, high pinky fingers. Wonderful. Inhale, warrior one, come on up. Palms might touch as you lift the gaze. Exhale, warrior two, palms down, energy down, look forward. Inhale, reverse warrior, a lovely C curve through the spine. Exhale, low lunge, hands to blocks or hands to floor. Inhale, standing splits, big lift on your strong left leg. Let your head go heavy, gaze behind your right heel. And absolutely, if you want blocks to support the pose, take them underneath your hands. Provide more stability as you start to explore your balance today. Your hips are square. Wrap your left inner thigh up towards the ceiling. With all four corners of your right foot anchored down, think legs of a table or like legs on a chair. Option to stretch your right arm high like an airplane wing. Option to reach your left arm high, two airplane wings. Soft neck, gaze is steady, breath in a deliberate flow. Standing splits in the lower body, airplane your arms, take a big breath in, exhale, large step back, low lunge. Inhale, down dog kick, right leg high. Exhale, down dog or vinyasa through. If you opt for the vinyasa, it's just what you've practiced. Chaturanga first, back bend of choice, cobra or up dog. Then right into downward facing dog is where we meet. You'll find comfort in repetition. Now that you're familiar with that first side, you carry that confidence and familiarity on the second side. Inhale, left leg high, strong and straight. Exhale, lizard lunge, left foot outside of left hand. Inhale, easy twist, shoulder stack. Exhale, horizon lunge, flex your feet, roll on their outer edges. Two more, inhale, easy twist, shoulder on shoulder. Exhale, horizon lunge. Now your left arm is parallel to the floor. Inhale, easy twist, look up, expand the heart. Exhale, horizon lunge, sink into your outer right hip. Inhale, easy twist, left shoulder back. Exhale, lizard lunge, left hand down. Now press your hands into the floor. Inhale, down dog kick, left leg high. Exhale, roll your left hip open, flop your left heel towards your right butt cheek. As you work to stack your hips, expand across the pelvis, 
Keep that energy and connection to your front ribs. Knit them together and engage your upper abdominals. With your wholehearted attention, take your deepest breath and expand. Exhale, low lunge, smooth step, left foot between your hands. Inhale, warrior one, torso rise. Exhale, airplane torso, pull your left hip crease back. Inhale, warrior one, chest, chin, and hands lift up. Exhale, airplane torso, a heavy right heel, firm down. Inhale, warrior one, press your thumbs back as you stretch high. Exhale, airplane torso with square hips. Inhale, warrior one, palms might touch as you lift the gaze. Exhale, warrior two, palms press down, shoulders over open hips. Inhale, reverse warrior, stretch through your left side body. Exhale, low lunge, hands to your blocks or to the floor. Inhale, standing splits, left foot stays down, right leg lift high. Now to maintain integrity with your vertical splits, level your low back. Square off your hips to the floor. Soften the back of your neck. You have this wonderful strength in your grounded left leg and all of this length in your lifted right leg. Feel those energies and those opposite actions. If you'd like to explore those airplane arms, left arm high towards your outer left hip, right hand high towards your outer right hip. Keep your gaze set and your breath in a wonderfully deliberate flow. Through strength, length, balance, challenge, take a big breath into whatever you feel. Exhale, low lunge, a big step back, right foot to the floor. Hands come down to blocks or to the mat. Inhale, down dog kick, left leg high. Front ribs engaged. Exhale, down dog, or a smooth vinyasa through. Your life-giving breath is reliable. It is always there when you choose to focus on it. So whenever your attention divides, thanks to one of the million distractions that are there, please come back to your body breathing. Protect the peace that you are diligently cultivating when you practice. Your hands are alive. Inhale, look forward to them. Exhale, Uttanasana, travel forward. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose, high hands. Exhale, chair plane, push your butt back. Inhale, chair pose, Lift the gaze, palms might connect. Exhale, chair plane, high pinky fingers, straight arms. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, chair plane, butt back, heavy heels. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, straight limbs, work upward. Exhale, back bend, press your hips forward, expand. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, lengthen everything you can fathom. Exhale, forward fold, then deepen. Feel the sense of heaviness. Inhale, halfway lift, balance with lightness. Exhale, down dog or vinyasa through. Honor your breathing and honor your energy levels. Inhale, down dog kick, right leg high. Exhale, right knee to your nose. Tuck your chin to your chest, Jalandhara Bandha. Take a big breath into your back body. Exhale, low lunge, right foot between hands. Inhale, high crescent. So a little more strength. Your left heel stays lifted, arms overhead. Exhale, airplane your torso, right ribs to right thigh, arms stretch back. Inhale, high crescent, slight tuck in the pelvis. You got it. Exhale, airplane torso, high pinky fingers, straight arms. Inhale, high crescent. Remember that corset through the front ribs. Exhale, airplane torso. Look down at your right big toe. Focus. Inhale, high crescent. 
Exhale, warrior two. Left heel is your anchor. Inhale, reverse warrior, fluid and free. Exhale, low lunge, hands to the floor. If you prefer blocks, recruit them. Inhale, standing splits, right foot stays down, left leg rise. Remember your square hips, the energy of strength in your right leg, the energetics of length through your left. Now you can keep your right hand to the floor, left hand, left hip. Inhale, Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Stack your left hip on your right. You guide your left hand high towards your ceiling if you want that expansion across the chest and collarbones. Your gaze steady and your spine long. See if you can bring a little more length into your right side body. A little bit of lightness through the right fingers. Less death grip, more prana, more energy, more flow. All the way up to your open heart. Take a big breath in. Exhale, warrior two, a big step back. Gaze is forward. Inhale, reverse warrior. Feel both feet planted. Exhale, low lunge, hands to the floor. Inhale, down dog kick, right leg high with square hips. Exhale, down dog or vinyasa through. Far from easy, but very simple. Breathe in a way that you know you are breathing. Inhale, left leg high. Now you're a little more familiar. Exhale, left knee to your nose. Jalandhara Bandha, tuck your chin to your chest, take a big breath in, exhale, low lunge, step between your hands. Inhale, high crescent, right heel high, arms sweep up. Exhale, airplane torso, knit the front ribs for spinal support. Inhale, high crescent, a slight tuck in the pelvis. Exhale, airplane torso, soften the back of your neck. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, airplane torso, and you pay attention to yourself on purpose. Inhale, high crescent, sink into your hips, get a little lower. Exhale, warrior two. Shoulders over hips, shoulder blades squeeze together. Inhale, reverse warrior, soften through facial expression. Exhale, low lunge, hands to blocks or to floor. Inhale, standing splits. Head is heavy, left chest close to left knee. Initially, your hips are square. Now, if you'd like to explore, option for that block under your left hand. Take your right hand to your right hip so you have a little more stability and guidance. Inhale, Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. As best as you can gauge your left shoulder, it's in line with your left hip. Sometimes the torso and the head, they have a tendency to angle downward. Flex through your right foot and lift your right heel. Option to reach your right arm high, broad across the chest, just like when you started and supported Tadasana. Stable and confident all the way up into your higher heart. Take a big breath in. Exhale, warrior two. Find your stability and anchor. Inhale, reverse warrior, fill up your lungs. Exhale, low lunge, cartwheel hands to mat. Inhale, down dog kick, left leg high. Exhale, down dog or vinyasa through. Far from easy, but very simple. Even if it's only for seconds at a time, offer your attention to the way in which you can breathe. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel forward, feet to hands. Inhale, halfway lift, big toes together. Remember your foundation. Exhale, fold just an inch between your heels. Last time, inhale, chair pose, front ribs knit. Exhale, chair plane, chest to knees, sweep back. Inhale, chair pose. Feel the weight in your heels. Exhale, chair plane. Now really heavy on the heels. One more. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, chair plane. High hands. 
Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Squeeze your legs straight, arms rise. Exhale, back bend. Grip with your toes and press your hips forward. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Grow long and tall. Exhale, Uttanasana. Forward bend. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, down dog. War vinyasa through. There's no expectation. And there's certainly no judgment if you skip that transitional flow. Hands at shoulder width distance and feet at hips width. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, right knee to your nose. Chin to chest, take a big breath into the back. Exhale, low lunge. Your left heel is high. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, airplane your torso, right chest, right knee. Inhale, high crescent. Keep your abdominals engaged. Support your spine. Exhale, warrior two. We take out the repetition. Inhale, reverse warrior. Soften your right shoulder, please. Exhale, low lunge, hands to the floor. Inhale, standing splits. Drive into right heel. Exhale, get a little bit heavier on your head. Big chance to open. Inhale, Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Elongate through your left arm and reach up. Exhale, warrior two, bend your right knee and stick your landing. Inhale, reverse warrior, side body stretch. Exhale, low lunge, hands to the floor. Inhale, down dog kick, right leg high. Exhale, down dog or vinyasa through. No expectation that you take it and no judgment if you skip it. You got it last time. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, left knee to your nose. With your chin to your chest, take a big breath into your low back. Exhale, step between your flat hands. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, airplane your torso, get nice and low. Inhale, high crescent, hips low, hands high. Exhale, Virabhadrasana two, right heel plant, press palms down. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, low lunge. You're stable. Inhale, standing splits. Exhale, heavy head. Left hand stays down. Inhale, Ardha Chandrasana. You burst open. Option to reach your right arm high. Exhale, warrior two. Big step back. You've got it. Inhale, reverse warrior. Stay committed to your left knee bent. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, down dog kick. Left leg high. Knit the front ribs. Exhale, down dog or vinyasa through. And three quarters of the way through your hour long practice, take a big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. One more time, a sweet breath in down to the low back. Exhale, balasana, child pose. Hips to heels, option for a block under solar plexus, heart, or head. Just regulate your breathings as you get closer to the floor. Feel into the effects of all that you have done thus far. Every twist and rinse, every side body stretch, every balancing pose, attention on the breath, awareness of the feet and the fingers, abdominal strength, acceptance of challenge and relative stress. And you've practiced breathing with and through all of those developments. So nothing more, nothing less for these next few moments. Just focus on your reliable, life-giving breath.
only if there's a readiness. You rise up through tabletop, come to your hands and knees. Then grab your block, place it between your inner thighs, come to stand on your knees, hands to your back body, ten fingers point down. Elbows wrap back, shoulder blades squeeze together. You take a breath in, puff up your heart, lift your eyes. Exhale, Ustrasana camel pose. Use your hands to press your hip points forward. Squeeze that block and keep the back of your neck initially soft. If you'd like to explore, you let go of the back, grab your heels. Or option to drop your head back if that's safe on your cervical spine. You might switch to open mouth exhales as you arch your spine in this deep back bend. Control, inhale to stand on your knees. And exhale, take a seat on your heels. Relax hands on your thighs, natural curl in fingers. Set your gaze and feel the resonance, the beat in your heart. Tabletop, hands and knees. Inhale, cow pose. With patience, exhale, cat back. You might still feel the echo of your camel pose. Inhale, cow, tilt the pelvis. Exhale, cat. You might find a little more lift on the second one. One more time through. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat back. Highest lift on the back ribs. Then cross your ankles, walk your hands to your knees, roll over your feet and come to your seat. With your legs out in front of you, feet to the mat. Extend your right leg out long in front of you, cross your left foot over your right thigh. You can stay right here. For half Lord of the Fishes, you bend your right knee, right heel, outer left hip. Your left fingertips to the floor behind you. Inhale, reach your right arm high, lengthen. Exhale, twist to the left. Right elbow or tricep hook on your left thigh or left knee. If you'd like to modify, you wrap your right forearm around your left leg. When you inhale, you lengthen. When you exhale, deepen the rinse and rotation through your left waist and left ribs. You remain in the twist for a breath in. Exhale, release, cow face, face forward. You stack your left knee on top of your right. If it's too intense, let your right leg go long out in front of you. Take the half expression. Inhale, arms high, and exhale, fold. Melt your heart and chin as close as you can towards your left thigh and left knee. Feel equally grounded between both sitting bones, both of your hips. Front body closed, back body open. Inhale, lift your torso, neck and head, and on your exhale, elongate your left leg and cross your right foot over your left thigh, half Lord of the Fishes. Option to bend your left knee, your right fingertips kickstand behind you. Inhale, left arm high. Exhale, half Lord of the Fishes to the right. As you twist to the right, if you want that modification, wrap your left forearm around your right thigh. And when you breathe in, you elevate your heart and your crown. When you breathe out, roll your right ribs and right shoulder back. Feel the firm quality in your right foot. Press down to lift up. Take a big breath in. Exhale, cow face, right knee on top. Option to modify, extend your left leg forward. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, lift and sweep tall. Exhale, forward fold. The idea here is to use the weight of your torso to trap the legs down and dissolve stored stress in your outer hips.
Inhale to lift your torso, neck and head. Exhale, uncross the legs. You'll take your blanket to the back small edge of your space. This is to pad your neck and your head, which is incredibly calming for the central nervous system. Once your space is established, recline to the back. Hug your knees in towards your chest, apanasana, full wind relieving. Once more, acknowledge that you are, in fact, lying down. You are safe. You're stable. Happy baby pose, wide knees, open hips. If you'd like to sway right and left, remember what you practiced at the beginning. When you sway to the right, right knee tap down. When you sway to the left, left knee tap down. And find your closure, knees into the heart space. Take a big breath into your hip creases. Exhale, release into Shavasana, your final resting pose. Now, if you find there are any postures or sensations left untouched, please complete your physical practice before you attempt to surrender into rest. If you are in Shavasana, feel hands and heels grounded. And from my heart to yours, it is safe for you to rest. It is safe for you to relax. Let's breathe that in, deep inhale. And a complete exhale. It is safe for you to rest. It is safe for you to relax. Breathe that in. Breathe that out. From my heart to yours, may you enjoy and appreciate your precious time spent in rest.
and swift, loving awareness. Feel your body breathe in. Feel your body breathe out. The beauty of this awakening is your conscious, deliberate change. Only if there's a readiness, explore delicate movements through fingers and feet. The expression that you hold on your face. And that eventually expands into a full body stretch. Take up as much space as you'd like. Press your low back into the earth and hug your knees in towards your chest. That little sway and cradle right and left. You roll to your right side body fetal pose, chin to chest, knees to heart. And you pause in this new beginning to feel into the effects of your last 60 minutes. Moving in a way that you feel taken care of. You extend your top left leg long and press your palms into the floor to elevate your torso, neck, and your head. We meet in Sukhasana, easy seated pose, ankles cross, knees drop down. As you energetically lift heart, you collect your hands there in Anjali Mudra prayer palms. To bring our collective intention full circle, may all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be safe. May all beings know peace. May all beings find their freedom. May all beings move through the world with ease. And my hope for you is that your practice, your healing is continuous. And your heart steady and of benefit to all beings. To both seal and share, take a deep breath in and a complete breath out. Thumbs to third eye, we close the practice with a collective bow, namaste. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Caitlin with any questions, comments, feedback. Please know that it was absolutely my pleasure to guide you through the practice. Have a beautiful rest of your day or night wherever you are. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others. And I hope to see you soon.